I did heatless curls last night, but they kind of fell out. Today is officially the day me and Yuki are moving out of my parents' house. We've been living here for about a year and a half. He's like, well, that's not cute. My skin is definitely going through it right now. It is breaking out so bad, and it's probably just the stress of moving. Lately, for my acne, I've been using the ITK Blemish Control Mist. I do feel like it helps kind of like dry out the zit. A little bit of some Glow Recipe Cloudberry Toner. I like this, but I haven't decided like if I like it enough to the point where I'm gonna buy it again. I still have to pack up like most of my bathroom stuff. You wanna come inside? In or out? Come on, you can't just stand in the middle. Bye. Lately, my go-to breakfast has been some Chobani yogurt with some toppings. I take some mini pretzels and I crunch them up and chocolate chips and then it's really good. It kind of basically makes it like a Chobani flip, a little sweet and salty on top of my Greek yogurt is mm, so good. Usually I would eat my breakfast outside in the sun with Yuki, but it's actually pretty cold this morning, so I'm gonna be eating inside. All we really have left is my bedding, which is what Yuki's gonna be sleeping on in the car, and then a couple things right there, and this stuff. The furniture isn't coming, so like the dresser's not coming, the mirror's not coming, the bed's not coming. The desk isn't. Also, I'm leaving behind Yuki's bed because he actually has two. We're gonna leave this one behind because it's the yuckier one. Where's my nail glue? In the moving process, I have lost two nails. I was supposed to glue them back on last night, but I was just way too tired after moving everything. These are like my birthday nails and they're St. Patty Day nails because my birthday's on St. Patrick's Day. Usually Yuki has a lot more energy in the mornings. Like he's usually bouncing off the walls. But I think he knows like something's up, something's happening and he doesn't know what. And I think it's making him a little bit nervous and anxious because like everything in my room is missing and Yuki can definitely tell. And so I think he's just like kind of confused, which is probably why he's kind of like sleepy instead of his usual super energetic morning self. I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna do my makeup. Since I'm just gonna be sitting in the car for hours, I went with like one of my comfiest outfits, which is just some like yoga pants and like this super soft top. The travel day fit it's cute it's comfy my brother is helping me move he's gonna be doing some of the driving we're gonna take turns realistically he'll probably do more of the driving than me because i don't really like driving i decided i wanted to break the move up into two days like we technically could do it in one day the drive but it's just really long and i start losing my mind after being in the car for so long and i know yuki also doesn't like being in the car for like a billion hours so i figured why not just do it in two days and like break it up my parents are also going to come visit me not even a week after i move which like wasn't intentional it just so happened to be that they will be in the area at the same time originally i was like oh i'm probably gonna be sad and like cry as i like say goodbye but because i'm gonna literally see them next week i don't think i'm gonna cry i'll just be like okay see you next week the day i booked my one month long airbnb stay i will admit though i cried super excited i was like at first i was like oh my goodness i did it i'm doing it like i'm moving woohoo and then like a wave of emotions hit me and i was just like crying and i was like i can't believe i'm leaving i'm moving and then I got really sad. Um, but that was really like the only time I have actually cried about moving so far, or, like leaving. For some reason, it doesn't feel like I'm moving. Like, I don't know if I just haven't like fully processed it yet or what. Or maybe it's the fact that like my brother's coming with me and then I'm going to meet up with my sister and her husband. And then my parents are going to be there a week later and we're all going to be hanging out. It's going to be like a big vacation. I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it doesn't feel like I'm moving. It just feels like I'm going on vacation. Like I know I packed up literally everything that I own, but for some reason, I feel like I just packed up my stuff to go on vacation. Yuki. <laughs> Is that a good stretch? Are we gonna go to the park and play frisbee? Yeah! <laughs> Let's get your collar. Oh, bless you. Do you pack it, Ray? I'm not kidding, it's literally so cold out right now. For Arizona, it's like 60 something out. Since we're gonna be in the car for a long time, I wanna get out as much of his energy as possible. And yes, this is his crusty frisbee. We just got back from the park. Hopefully that'll help tire Yuki out so that he'll sleep for most of the car ride. I'm also probably gonna play with him in the backyard right before we get in the car to help get him tired. I need to finish packing the car. My brother Raymond hasn't even started packing even though he's literally gonna be gone for like a week and a half. Probably check some work emails. Skimming through. Most look like spam. I fed Yuki some of his frozen raw dog food and he is chowing down. This is Yuki's little travel water bottle. I'm gonna go fill it up. That way he has some water for the road trip. 
He also has a little travel dog bowl that's also in the car in case this is not enough for him. It's really tiny, but also I don't want him drinking a ton of water, just enough to stay hydrated, but not too much where he's gonna have to go pee every two seconds. Get in, Yuki. Come on, load up. Let's go to California. Yuki's it. No, it's kind of tight quarters we're working in here. We're gonna hit the road then. Right. Bye, Mom. Bye. All right, we're all in here. We got Yuki and his little spot right back there. He's a little concerned about what's going on. And then my brother's gonna do the first part of the driving because I got some work to get done on my phone. Road trip to California. <laughs> oh no! I don't know if he's excited or nervous. Usually he's really excited in the car because he thinks we're going like to the park. I got my Olani peach energy drink to keep me going. Go sit down, Yuki. Usually after like 20 minutes in the car, he settles. Bye, Arizona. It's a little rainy out, which isn't the greatest. I wasn't really expecting it to be like rainy because it's Arizona and it literally never, ever rains in Arizona. So the one bag that I strapped on top of my roof, it's not waterproof. And I'm pretty sure there's like an electric pump in there. That's a bummer, but there was no room in the car for it. So it had to go on top of the roof. Already fallen asleep. Not even 15 minutes in. Good boy, Yuki. So cute. Our first stop is to go get gas and fill up because we're a little bit low and we want to start with a full tank. I moved in with Clover and now I'm moving out. And I don't have Clover. That's pretty sad. When we moved in, it was like the three of us, like me, Yuki, and Clover, and now it's just me and Yuki. First up was to get gas, so we're fueling up now. And of course, both me and my brother have to go to the bathroom, even though we left like <laughs> not even 15 minutes ago. Yuki, you're doing such a good boy. Jesus. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to get some work done. I have a brand deal that I'm supposed to post, but I literally have one bar of service right now. So it's stuck loading at 60% right now. I think it doesn't like crash because it's like not got enough service to load. Really I'm over here in the car like trying to find one more bar of service to get the video to upload. I'm on my second beverage and we're like barely an hour in. This is the poppy strawberry lemon prebiotic soda. So it's like a healthy soda. We already had to make one stop to use the bathroom so I should probably chill out on the drinks. The driving weather is definitely not ideal. And of course, Yuki is just taking a power nap in the back. Welcome to California. We're crossing the California border right now. I'm excited. I'm officially a Californian. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but we are officially in California. Do you hate me yet? Yep. Time to start playing uh, Katy Perry. California girls bikinis on top. Something like that, I can't remember. We made it to California. Are you excited? Let's see if Yuki wants a little water. Are you thirsty? I'm trying to get my phone to connect to my car's Bluetooth because I disconnected it so I could work on it and now it won't connect again. We've just been listening to the radio this whole time but like I can only listen to the radio so long before I start losing my mind. This is my wrap, my brother's sandwich and then we got some strawberries over here as well. I got a turkey and cheddar wrap. Look at how mystical and foggy the mountains are looking. This is not for you. Why are you barking? <laughs> Hey. Yuki's being really bad right now. He's being very loud. Filling up more gas though, because we're pretty much empty. He probably has to get out and go to the bathroom, but I'm waiting for my brother to get back. I was gonna offer to switch and do some driving, but my brother said he didn't really mind doing the driving and he said he kind of preferred it, which is so nice because I don't like driving at all. Making some adjustments to the uh, roof rack bag. Welcome to Coachella, California. Yuki got to go to the bathroom and get out and stretch his legs. We made it to our hotel room. Yuki has a lot of energy, which is kind of inconvenient. I think he lost his ball under the bed, Ray. The only toy that wasn't packed up was his ball, so we brought that inside and he's been playing with it, but I think he lost it under the bed. Sit. Lay down. We're trying not to get him too rowdy, but the people upstairs, I think there's a bunch of kids upstairs and on both sides of us, and they're really loud and they're stomping around. Do you have your ball? Let me see. <laughs> the way he just side-eyed me. I can't reach it. Give it to me. Is this your little yellow ball? Oh. <laughs> Day one of moving to California down. One more day to go, and we will make it to our 
final destination. Until then, good night. All right, it's day two of moving to California. I'm just getting ready and doing my makeup and then we're gonna hit the road. Yuki over here has been such a good boy. Yuki doesn't really get out of the house a whole lot. I mean, we go on our walks, but like he's not traveling a lot and like going to hotels. So all of this is like very new for him. I mean, it's obviously like very overstimulating for a dog who's, you know, not used to it, but he's just being so well behaved and I'm so proud of him. That's Yuki's room service. Oh, is that room service for my dog? <laughs> it's food. I had my brother run down to the car and go get Yuki some breakfast because I forgot it in the car. Stop. <laughs> Shame. Stop. Hey, you can't be talking to me. Yuki? No, Yuki. No, what? getting excited because I put on his harness. That was like the loudest he's been so far. It's day two of moving to California. Well, technically we're already in California. We got the Mighty Mango. I love this one. It's so green out here. That's one of the things that I love about California. It's just how green everything is. There's so much greenery and foliage. And yeah, I see some shopping, okay. It's just like Ross and Walmart. <laughs> Oh, they have a pet smart here. That's good to know. I booked an Airbnb for one month and I'm gonna try it out for a month And if I like it, then I'm gonna get a place here and I'm gonna stay like long term But if I don't like it, I'm just gonna pack up and book an Airbnb somewhere else in California Look, yeah. we found a cyber truck. They're so ugly, but this is my first time seeing one in real life. Wow Smile. It's, it's like futuristic, but so ugly. It has so many capabilities that it's never been on a car before Even if that car was affordable, I don't think I would buy it. Okay, this is pretty. All right, we made it to our Airbnb where I'm gonna be staying for the next month. It's a little bit tinier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I have to bring in all of my stuff because I don't just wanna leave it in my car. I think we're gonna take everything out of the car and try to put it over there for now. We're gonna start moving everything in, but let me give you guys a little tour before I completely clutter it. There's a little desk over here, a little bed, dresser, and then super duper tiny little kitchenette, very small. Um, there's this chair right when you walk in. My, I guess my new closet for the next month. And then this is the bathroom, which honestly looks quite a bit bigger on camera. <laughs> this is how it's going so far. We did get a good majority of everything in. We still have a little bit more left to do, but making progress. Just wanted to show you guys our cute little backyard that we have at our Airbnb. So it's perfect for Yuki to run around and play. And then we still have to organize a little bit more, but me and my brother are going to clean up a little bit and then we're gonna take Yuki on a walk and then we're gonna bring him back and we're gonna go out and get some dinner and maybe explore the area a little bit. All right, we freshened up. Me and my brother are gonna go find somewhere to eat and Yuki's gonna take a nap. <laughs> 